The raw reality of being an entrepreneur at 18 years old and it's not what you think, you know, I kind of always knew that I wanted to be rich as a kid and I was watching these these movies like Spider-Man and he was a hero, he was a, he was fighting villains, he was getting girls, he was successful, he was respected. I was watching um, The Wolf of Wall Street and I saw like Leonardo DiCaprio just like throwing around with money and you know, I was never really a fan of the traditional path. And I was always like a very critical kid, you know, like at, at, at the ages of like eight, nine, ten, I was already questioning why am I going to school? Why am I, why am I following this path? And I was looking at my parents and I saw that they weren't happy or successful and that they're like 40 years old and they haven't done like much with their life. And then I went out into the world and I looked onto YouTube and watched like a bunch of how to make money videos, like seven top ways to make money online and make your first 10k. And then I wrote a guy called Official Rich Teen who was doing dropshipping at that time. He's like a German, highly successful entrepreneur. And I wrote him a DM on Instagram and he actually responded. But he told me that I was too young and that I have no time and that I'm just stupid, that I need to learn more. So a couple of years later, I got into self-improvement and it's kind of hard to not get influenced by the make money online bro kind of community when you're on self-improvement like all of these guys like Hamza are talking about it you know make money online he made like a video titled like make your first 10k online and stuff like that so I started my own YouTube channel because I wanted to help other people and that's what I love to do that's what I always did from a kid uh, like since I was a kid I always helped other people and that's what I love to do. So I decided to make a YouTube channel, which has a huge amount of leverage because I can post this video and it can get a hundred of views and I just have to use one unit of my time and get like a hundred units of attention back, which is huge, right? And on top of that, I can make money with that and I'm helping other people. Amazing. And I've been recording videos every single day for over one and a half years. I'm at 600 subscribers and haven't seen any amount of success. And you see all of these, these videos online talking about like, 10k a month is easy you first like just start just start just get consistent just get better and i want to tell you about a concert that is called the optimist die first in vietnam war there was a soldier who got imprisoned by the vietnams and he was stuck in prison right with a couple of other people and some people were very optimistic and they thought that rescue that they get rescued was just like one week away and what ended up happening they died first the optimist die first. So I wouldn't want to take away your drive or your optimistic, like your, your business idea or, you know, that I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm just saying that the reality is harder than you think. Like, think about it. Our goal is to make like a 10K a month, right? That's like a big goal for a lot of people. That is like more than what three of my teachers make combined in a month. And you think you're just going to start a business. You're just going to set up a funnel, a sales page, record your first YouTube video and like create a shitty product. And then you're going to get that much money? No, the reality is different. You first have to work on yourself and your beliefs and your skills and your characteristics every single day consistently for years before you're able to create something good and valuable and actually get the attention that you want. Because I believe that being an entrepreneur and having a business is the highest form of self-improvement because my business is a reflection of my life. Everything, like every single skill that I have, the way I speak to humans, the way I speak to the camera, the way I can think and analyze problems and solve problems and my rationality and the way I don't indulge in my emotions and all of these different components, my beliefs and my skills and characteristics, they all combine into having a business and I'm making no money with my business right now, which means that I still suck. Even after one and a half years of working every single day, I still suck. And my goal is just to, just to suck less in the future. Now, I was actually expected to make 200 euros this month. You know, I set up my school community. I'm working on my YouTube channel. I had like 30 calls with, with people from my YouTube channel, right? Maybe you're one of the guys watching this. I called with a couple of people. I talked to them. And at the end, I had like a little sales pitch. And I was funneling them into my community. Two people wanted to pay. And I told them, okay, you get the first month for free. After that, you can stay and pay. Or you can leave. You get a bunch of value for free. It's no problem. And both of them decided to stay. So I was like, okay, I will charge them. I set up my Stripe account. I set up the subscription. And two weeks ago, I was about to make my first money. I was super excited. I was like, okay, finally, I'm going to make it. Finally, after one and a half years of working every single day, seeing no results, I'm finally going to make money. I can finally charge someone. I can finally see the number of my bank account go up. The day arrives, I'm at school. 
I know that I will receive the payment around like 10 o'clock and checking my phone, I'm checking my phone, I'm checking my phone, I'm clicking on Stripe and I see that it says payment failed. I am super frustrated, I'm super angry, I get super emotional, I'm just like refreshing the page, hoping that it's an error. It's not. I write the Stripe um, support and they say there's three reasons why someone's card can de get declined. One, they don't have enough capital, so they don't have enough money on their bank account. Two, the card is not safe or it's the wrong card. And three, they live in a country where they can't accept Stripe payments. So I knew that it was the right card because I could literally view it. I saw the numbers and everything. It was literally there. It was the right card. I knew which country the guy was from. So I knew that he could receive payments from Stripe in the country. So it has to be the third option that he doesn't have enough money. I write him a message and I say, hey man, you've been using this product for for free for a month and your time's up you know you can continue to stay you could have left a few days ago you're still using this so yeah we'll charge you like that was the agreement right and then he says to me hey sorry you don't have enough money and i'm just thinking like fuck you like i literally thought that in my head fuck you i didn't get angry at him i didn't insult him but i was very frustrated you know years of hard work for nothing and then I'm like, okay, it doesn't matter. You can continue to use this product because I literally was trying to help this person. I called with him a few times. I literally knew him. He kind of was like a friend for me now. And I was really helping him. And I saw the progress that he made. So I was like, okay, you know, you can stay. It's, a, it's no problem. I understand. You know, you can pay me next month or whatever. <clears throat> and then I was like, okay, I have another like customer that I can charge because I had two customers. And a few days later, like two days later, I was about to charge my next customer who also stayed inside of the community who also used my products and was also like about to get charged and the day comes around and what ended up happening same thing i couldn't charge him because he didn't have enough money i again write him a message and he says sorry i don't have enough money i'm super frustrated i get a lot of pain and limiting beliefs i think i'm a bad businessman I think I can't make it. I think it's like, I was about to throw every single thing away, right? So much pain, years of hard work for nothing. And now I'm making minus, I'm not gaining money, I'm actually losing money because I have to pay for my school sus subscription, which is 100 euros a month. And I, was, I, I thought like, okay, I'm gonna make 100 euros profit. Now I'll make a minus 100 euros every single month and no like income coming in. And that just created like this huge amount of pain inside of me. Because I know that my girlfriend is working like a normal nine to five at like a, like a 40 hour a month basis job which in germany is like a very popular form for students they make like 520 euros a month and they just work on the weekends and she makes 520 euros a month and i make minus 100 i was like imagine now that i've put one and a half years into working in a normal job like she does i would have saved like like 10k now and i'm just making minus and then i realized it's just about instant gratification and delay gratification because i know that instant gratification is bad making the money right now being in a job right now i'm willing to sacrifice that to work on myself and explode my income in the future in 10 years and not being able to make any money and not getting paid created this huge amount of pain inside of me which now leads me to work even farther and even more today it's like it's it's quite it's, it's evening right now i've been working like for 13 hours now of course, I went to the toilet, I took a cold shower, I ate something, right? But I've been working for 13 hours. And by the way, I'm still going to school, right? And I'm on holiday right now. So I'm just dedicating all of my work, all of my time to my business. And that is the raw reality of being an entrepreneur at 18 years old. And I'm going to take you along with me. So the biggest lesson from this video is just the optimist die first. Don't expect it to be easy. Expect it to be very painful. Otherwise, everyone would be an entrepreneur and suffering is what gives it its meaning. And never give up. Just keep going. Just do the hard, consistent work and be patient. Thank you for watching. If you like what I'm saying, if you agree with my message, click on the subscribe button right now. Click on the first link in the description to join my community. Thanks for watching. Please take action.